Good morning. I have stories from Austria, Canada and Ukraine. Right. The Ukraine story is really about the shot. You know, you guys in the medical profession, you are getting a very bad reputation these days because of what you are doing. Yeah. What you're doing is too, totally insane. Yes. Uh, like you say, somebody tested positive for the flu and then dies within 28 days or something, you immediately you write, you know, see death on the death certificate. Doesn't matter if the guy died from diabetes or something. No, see death, right? But if somebody dies after taking the shot, well, then it's a coincidence, isn't it? Yeah. Well, if a lot of them dies, then you say, yeah, we will look into it. There might be some connection here. We need to find it, you see? Or if they die very quickly, like this one. This happened in Ukraine, you see? 47-year-old, he took the shot, the Pfizer. And five hours later, he died. He complained about nausea. And then he lost consciousness. And, you know, they couldn't save him. And now the health authorities say that this is too short a time frame. This may not be a coincidence. You see, there may be some connection here. We need to look into it. But they say the other ones who took the same shot, they seem to be okay. So maybe it's just something happened. It's a freak event or something. See, I wonder what needs to happen before you say, yeah, there is a connection. Maybe if they all died, right? You gave the shot, you gave the Pfizer to a hundred people and they all died. What would you say then? You say, yeah, this doesn't look good. I bet you, you would still say, yeah, we need to look into this. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, with the, with the virus, it's totally different, isn't it? Yeah. A hundred people who got t tested positive, yeah, and they died. Well, they were all sea death, weren't they? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're getting a bad reputation. Well, it's terrible, isn't it? Well, I lost confidence in you guys a long time ago. Right. Uh, now, Austria. A lot of people are pissed off in Austria. They found this girl, 13 years old. They found her body in Vienna, 13 years old. She was strangled to death. And the police believe that she was drugged and sexually abused before she died. This is terrible. Three men, three men have been arrested. And they are looking for a fourth one. Uh, they are aged 16 to 25. They are all from Afghanistan. And the police believe that the girl went to their apartment voluntarily. We understand what happened here. Yeah. What do you know when you're 13 years old? Yeah, I hate this stuff. Right, finally, this is from Canada. Uh, somebody found this on this official government website. Pride season. Yeah, this is what they say. Events, LGBT, events and narratives will be promoted every year from June until the end of September. They call it pride season. So you want a pride season now. Well, I don't care if you dress up in women's clothing, put on makeup, or kiss somebody from your own sex. I don't get. I don't care. <laughs> but I mean, this is too much, isn't it? It's exaggerated. Why do you need a pride season? I don't get it. The government seems to like it. Well, somebody suggested that this has to do with business. Yeah, business is doing well during these events. 
it attracts a lot of people and it's good for business. Maybe this is why. You know, I don't, I don't understand. Why don't you make the whole year Pride Year or, you know, every day is Pride Day. I don't get it. Alright. Be good.